The citizenship thing, it's, it seems to be the biggest, border security also, but that seems to be the biggest sticking point. In, in your research, do you find that the majority of people here without proper authorization want to become citizens or do they just want a status? I mean, it's easy to say that the dreamers do, obviously, this is what That's they've right. known their whole That's life. Right. What about the other folks? I mean, do they, do they want to be citizens or do they just want to be here legally and work and be able to do it without looking over their shoulder? So, so in, our, in our resolution, we didn't prescribe uh, what that roadmap needed to look like, that roadmap to citizenship. In fact, we talked about border security in, our, right. in our resolution. Uh, we talked about a guest worker program in our solution. I view this issue, there are two baskets, right? The guest worker program, I think, is important, but it is prospective. How do we align willing workers and willing uh, U.S. employers in a fair, legal, legal and transparent system to meet the needs of U.S. business prospectively? Because the U.S. Chamber of Commerce will tell you that they need 500,000 low-skill workers year over year in order to meet the needs of U.S. business in hospitality, agriculture, sure. you go all the way right. down the line. Right. Okay? So I view that as prospective and important. But what do we do about 11 million people who are here, some of which want to stay as legal permanent residents, some of which are just trying to save a, enough money to go back home, some of which want to be citizens. And frankly, we want them to be citizens. I'll tell you, look, if, if you look at two guys sitting on a stoop in Villa Perdida, Mexico, I just made that up, right? And one guy says, hey, this place stinks, and I'm going to go down to the store, and I'm going I'm to buy a 40-ouncer, and I'm going to drink and pretend, this, you know, pretend I'm somewhere else. And then the other guy says, I'm going to save $8,000. I'm going to go to the United States. I'm going to work my tail off. I'm going to either send money back or want to bring my family there. I'm going to add value. Who do we want as a country? We want the entrepreneur. In fact, this country has never been built on a Puritan work ethic. This country has been built on an immigrant work ethic. It is the entrepreneur, the risk taker, the immigrant who has come here, whether they were waves of Chinese or Poles or Italians. And now they just happen to be Latinos, for the, a majority of them. You seem to and so let's create some path to citizenship, not, not because we are altruistic and, 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 uh, and, and Judeo-Christian or anything like that, but we, because we need immigrants. We need them to continue our economic vitality. So let's, let's allow some roadmap, whether it be 10, 15 years, to get them there. I don't know why that's such a, such a provocative concept. Uh, I'll let you follow up and I'll ask you, are the, are the folks that are here, are they, are they stealing jobs? I mean, that's one of the common arguments. I mean, he's making a case for you know, a legal workforce. Do you agree? You seem to be kind of in agreement with some of the things that he said. I believe that what Representative Anchia is talking about uh, is, is more applicable. I think the party is probably more applicable to the dreamers. but. In the conversation, there has to be recognition for the rule of law, for the rule of law. The guy who came here with $8,000 to this country to better himself, in doing so, broke the law. Now, we can argue all day what's the process, what should have been the process, what have the feds put in place, how does that work, what does it look like, is it 10 years, 15 years, whatever the story is. But there has to be respect for the rule of law. And the fact that he's here illegally can't just be brushed over. There has to be some recognition of that. So we say, okay, what about, what about fines? What about fees? What about military service? I mean, all those things are, I, th I think I saw a lot of that in the resolution, That's right. which quite frankly, we can't do anything about. That would be a federal decision. But that rule of law uh, to be applied has to be in the competition somewhere. Um, and that's, that's kind of the, the sticking point because a lot of times when this is discussed, that, that gets brushed over very quickly. And I, I recognize that they did a good job of addressing kind of what their thoughts were uh, on that. But it's important that that remains in the conversation because that is fundamental to the conversation and the decisions going forward is regardless of what the law is or how bad it is or how broken it is, the fact of the matter is that it was broken. If you talk about the people who came here in the 10s and the 20s and the 30s, they came here legally and who were embraced because you're right, they were embraced. That's not true. Well, <laughs> they, they, they neither came here legally nor were embraced, all right? There was no, there was no uh, immigration and naturalization service. People showed up on boats uh, with no prior appointment. They disembarked. They were checked for, for uh, illness. Yes. Their names were changed, and they, said, they were asked, hey, do you have somebody to go live with? Uh, you know, get off Ellis Island and get into the boroughs. And were they sent back? There was, there was no, they weren't. They, they weren't. They, but, 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 I tell you, but I tell you, they, there were folks back, uh, back in the day, you can ask anybody who has uh, Irish uh, parents whether the Irish were embraced by Italians or whether the Poles were embraced. I, don't, I, don't, I think embrace sounds kind of warm and fuzzy, but I don't think, this, I think it this, does, it's not reflected in This country in did not send them back. Okay. This country did not send them back. What a way so to in that regard, they were embraced. <laughs>